If an exorcism isn't completed, evil will find a new vessel. I believe when you die, you die. End of story. Then you're up for it? I can handle it. scary movie <laughs> yes but I, I feel like as much as you was uh fighting this this demon you mm -hmm. was really fighting your inner demons your character was in this movie so i think that's more what i got out of the story but, absolutely but absolutely I, but when i started researching shay mitchell what's really scary is that you have such a huge social media follower <laughs> I, and i wonder like how do you how do you maintain that and how do you communicate with your your fans on the different platforms. We have this much on Twitter, this much on YouTube, this much on Instagram. Is it a different language you speak to those people? Absolutely. I think you have to switch it up. Otherwise, why wouldn't you just go to one where you could see all the content? Yeah. You know, it's almost like being, yeah, I'm kind of the producer to all my different platforms. And so I'm wanting to put different content out on each of them. Um, mm -hmm. But it's fun. Yeah. It really is. And I, and I enjoy it so much being able to share my experiences with them. Yeah. I don't want to just experience this by myself. This is too cool of a place to be to just, for me to remember it, you right, know? Right. So I love that interaction that I have with my fans. And if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be here. So there has to be that give back for sure. So I wonder what's the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, the movie wasn't enough. I really wanted those extra jumps in our junket. So, uh, um, yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, what were you saying? <laughs> Oops. Uh, I know, everybody else. I'll give you a minute, I'll give you a minute. All right. <laughs> yeah, you were good though, you didn't jump I was out. good, I was, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, I was gonna get killed. You know, I should have been like running. You were just ready for <laughs> I'm it. I'm just like. You were just ready for <laughs> it. It's like, it's over. Oh my gosh. So, so I'm wondering, you got 899 followers on Instagram. You follow 899. Oh, what okay. is the thing? Who, how, who gets the 900 followers? How do I become the 900 person I've, follower? <laughs> I've had 900 and I, for some reason I don't want to go over it. So if I add new person, somebody is like survivor. You know, somebody gets kicked off the island with my Instagram. Um, yeah, I mean, it's tough. It's just a weird thing that I have. I just don't want to go over 900. So you're right. Okay. You could be the lucky 900. Yeah, person. Somebody got to go. Let's, let's swap <laughs> them out. Somebody got to go. So Canada has had all these this flux, this uh, increase of actors, that, this young generation mm -hmm. from Stephen James mm -hmm. to uh, my, Shamir, uh, all these people from Scarborough, and you from uh, Mississauga. Toronto. Yeah, yeah. So so I, I wonder, like, what is the what's this thing bubbling up in Canada that's getting like? I think all it's this... the water. You know, they say <laughs> with New York, the pizza. It's the water that makes the pizza. Yeah. I think in Toronto, it must there must be something in there too because. I mean, obviously, looking at Drake and, and Party Next Door, I, there's so much talent that comes out of it. And it makes me, like, so happy. Jesse Reyes, like, I'm such a huge fan. And there's just that shared pride that we have being Canadians. So, yeah. yeah. A lot of YouTubers have vo vocalized that they've burning out and they have to step mm -hmm. away. If you having stuff like Pretty Little Liars and, and this movie coming out, does it kind of balance out that you don't have to always deliver content on there? Do you ever feel like a burnout from delivering content to that platform? No, because to be honest with you, I, I've missed many weeks, you know, with my channel. Uh, are you supposed to deliver content once a week? Yeah, I aim to, but if I don't get it up, I don't get it up. Yeah. Not really gonna, I don't know, be hard on myself with that. I'm pretty busy, and what I put out there is because I want to put it out there. I think, you know, it can be really stressful, especially for a lot of these content creators, that pressure to keep the machine going and moving. Yeah. I mean, even a machine needs to take a break every now and then. you got to unplug the plug, right, you right, know? And right. so I, I think there's, there's nothing wrong with these people to, like, wanting to take a break every now and then. Yeah. Go, take a break, travel without a, a phone, and then come back even more inspired, you yeah. know? or don't come back, whatever you want to do. But at the end of the day, it's your life. So I think don't wait until that point that you burn out. Take right. the break before. Real quick, one last question. Finish the sentence, without social media. Um, without social media. <sighs> without social media, I wouldn't be able to see as much of the world as, as I have. I've been inspired by social media. 
and it's encouraged me and my desire to want to travel and explore more of it. We'll keep on inspiring people Thank through you. social media, and we'll keep on watching you on Thank whatever you. platform you are. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Perfect.